I'm a bright light in a dark room. A bright light in a dark room. A very dark room. And I stand in the gap and I'll take accountability for that. Somebody has got to do it. And I don't know if you affect other people's lives like I do, but I, I'm starting to see now how these videos could make me appear to be weird and crazy only because I'm in the middle of, of trying to help people that need help. And I'm in that group. But I, unfortunately, I can't help myself. It will require somebody else to do something. That's what a helper is. So, um, but it becomes difficult. But I'm a bright light in a dark room. And I, uh, today I got a new plan for this one hour hiccup that I have where I have to deal with some students that I don't know and I'm gonna have a new attitude going in today is Friday the last day of this three-day deal that I'm supposed to do with these kids so they said Jesus Christ was crucified and the third day he rose so I'm gonna rise today like Jesus Christ did now, I'm pure flesh but um, these students are they appear to be uninterested in uh, the academia part of the school system. So I'm gonna be a bright light in a dark room. To me, they don't, some of them seem to embrace or enjoy the incarceration time, like, And that, that's, that, I'm out of my element with it, to be honest with you. I'm used to dealing with progression and motivating people that are at least um, in a position that they want to be effective and accomplish and achieve things. It's very difficult. And I realize I'm out of my element. And today I'll get another hour to be out of water and experience some time with students that just are not interested, just not interested in, um, I guess even to the basics of, um, of getting through successfully. Now I'm trying to be careful with what I'm saying because I know I can be misinterpreted some people's thoughts. Now some of the kids that are in this environment I actually walked up and talked to personally one-on-one -on -one, and, and I tried to find out why they were in there. And each one of them, you know, a lot of times said it's because of either tardy or I was talking back or saying something. And I commended them because they were still quiet in this environment. So I acknowledged them personally one-on-one -on -one, and went to all three of them, which is funny, and, uh, and talked to them. I'm always going to salute, give shout outs and props to the students, and I'm talking about the students, that are doing what they need to do. And you in school, so if you don't like school, you don't like your parents or whatever else, then you need to do something about it. And I'm not talking about go off and, and do something bizarre or something that's uh, devastating to another person or yourself but something that is positive like you know get on your own two feet then but to, to sit in a learning environment why don't you learn something and learn either what not to do or what to use as an instrument to be successful for yourself and your family now there's no doubt in my mind that these young people will be successful one day. I think they will. And success is gonna be something mental because 90 some percent of people financially just don't make it. 
So you're going to have to find another way to be motivated by um, being successful. You're going to have to have another label. And uh, things are getting worse. So it's not like you get into a point where you can can call yourself a wealthy and that's just it. So these are some of the younger students in the school. But as far as I'm concerned, at this stage, we're in the fourth quarter of school. So everybody's behavior, as far as I am concerned, should be way better than what it is. This type of class should be shut down. It shouldn't be functioning at this at this point. In the fourth quarter, still wrestling with um, behavior issues, still wrestling with people with negative attitudes. Hey, good morning. Still dealing with people who have um, that create and give off bad vibes. tough to be around them. So I got one hour. I, I would not be able to, from an academic standpoint, well, if I was in this environment on a regular basis, and if I was in it every day, it would be different because I would be in charge. So when you plug somebody into a situation, it's almost like their stepfather, and that usually doesn't work. So to go in there for an hour, out the blue is just too much for them to be able to handle for some of them. So I get that and I understand. And it's a lawsuit waiting to happen. Because not only am I a coach, but I'm a respectable one. And putting these kids in check or trying to get them to stay balanced on what they need to do or have a new vision is an interesting thing to do. You know. So, good morning, Fear. How you doing today? All right. Yeah, it's uh, so it's kind of a interesting vibe that they give off. So I told you in the accountability law, the person I try to hold accountable is myself. How do I look at the situation when I'm in it? How do I respond? So today I'm gonna go in with the attitude of the ones that are positive or sitting there doing what I need to do. I need to, you know what, I'm going to make some puzzles or something and give them to the ones that are doing a good job. It's time to reward. I guess it's, it's spoon feeding, but it is what it is. So, I appreciate y'all listening. I talked myself through how I'm going to get through this last hour with these uh, young students who up here to still don't get what it takes to make it all the way through. But uh, I'm, I'm probably gonna end up speaking. You know, I can talk because I've done eight minutes on this video. I'll probably talk to them, how about that? And they're probably ready to leave after that. <laughs> but that's cool though, talk their ears off. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Have a great Friday.